My name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Ronin by Taylor Swift. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. So the chords for this song are not too hard. They're probably okay for beginners if you're going to be strumming. But if you want to pick the song, it may require a little bit of work. But um, the good news is there's no capo, so all of you guys who don't have a capo, this is perfect for you. And it's in standard tuning. So the way I'm going to teach you guys this song only has five chords, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what those look like. I remember you dancing before bedtime. So the first chord you guys are going to need to know is C, which looks like this, and sounds like this. to play that string so in this case you're not going to be plugging the um, bottom E string. Okay after that you need to know A minor 7 which is really close to C all you have to do is lift up your ring finger and there you have A minor 7. So it looks like this and it sounds like this. So the next chord you're going to need to know is F major 7, and for this one you're going to just take off your second finger, so you're going to leave your first finger on, and then you're going to put your second and third finger on the second and third fret respectively. So it looks like this, and it sounds like this. is F, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And this is a barred chord, so it may be a little bit harder for you guys to play. And the last one you need to know is G, which looks like this, and sounds like this. So why don't you guys go ahead and practice those five chords until you've memorized what they are and what they look like and can transition between them pretty easily. And then I'm going to go ahead and teach you some strumming slash picking patterns that you can use with this song. Come on, baby, with me. We're gonna fly away. So hopefully you guys feel pretty comfortable with the chords now. I'm going to go ahead and teach you a strumming pattern that I came up with that I think will be really good for beginners or those of you who have trouble with rhythm sometimes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and teach that to you. So go ahead and put your C chord on. And the way this goes is it's super simple. It's just down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So when you transition between the different chords, strumming pattern for the entire song and it'll sound perfectly fine. Um, but if you want to do some picking, I have two different ways you can do the picking. One is slightly easier and then one is slightly harder, so um, I guess choose based on your confidence level with picking. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the first one. So the first picking pattern I have to show you guys is the one that's slightly simpler. So go ahead and put on your C chord 
and I'm going to show you guys how to pick this. So with the C chord, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick each of the individual strings instead of strumming them all at once. So for C, I'm going to pick the lowest string, which is the fifth, then the third, then the second, then the third. So the pattern is five, three, two, three. seven it's actually the exact same chord so go ahead and take off your ring finger and it's still gonna be five three two three okay and then for F major seven this is where it's going to change a little bit so go ahead and put your F major 7 chord down. This time I'm going to start on the 4th string. So 4, 3, So when you look at the pattern with all three chords, it goes like this. Five, three, two, three, five, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, one. Five, three, two, three, five, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, one. And you can play that for the entire song, so it sounds like this. pattern it's kind of similar to the first we're just going to add a few more notes in there so go ahead and put your C chord back down so it's going to be exactly the same as the first pattern five three two three except right at the end there we're going to add in another two so five three two three two Seven, it's the same thing. You're going to take off your ring finger and the pattern is the same. So five, three, two, three, two. Five, three, two, three, two. So with C and A minor seven together, it sounds like this. we get to F major 7, which is probably going to be the hardest part of this whole tutorial. So go ahead and put your F major 7 chord down, and it's going to start out exactly the same as picking pattern 1, so 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, except this time we're going to finish out the phrase by going back 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2. Together with picking pattern two, it's going to sound like this.
guys is the general picking pattern that I'll use especially while I'm singing the song but um, occasionally my fingers will start to just play things on their own which I always tell you guys is perfectly normal and I think that that's actually better just to go with whatever your body's telling you to do so just a forewarning when I'm playing through this song with you guys you might hear a little bit more of a fancier picking pattern like this that to you guys but I feel like it's really all about however you feel like you should play it. So my suggestion is just to start off with the basic pattern that I've already given you and then if your fingers start to just play things on their own then just go with it. Just go with it and sing the song. <laughs> feel pretty comfortable with all the chords and all the strumming and picking and whatever else you decide to do with this song. Um, let's go ahead and put all those elements together and we'll play through the entire song. I'm going to list all the chords right here in front of you and then um, I'm also going to go a little bit slower than the actual song just so we can all keep up. And um, yeah, good luck. This is Ronin by Taylor Swift.
hopefully you guys were able to keep up. Sorry that I didn't put too much detail in this tutorial, but school did start again and I'm super busy with studying and stuff. But um, anyways, I hope that you will leave a video response below of you playing this song, or maybe check out my cover over here, or maybe sing along with my guitar instrumental over here, or maybe even subscribe up here so that you'll know every time I upload a new guitar tutorial for you guys. Um, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this helped and I'll see you guys next time.